Hello, my name is Chris and I will review the 2017 Genesis G80. This one is all-wheel drive with a V8. A good looking car in a competitive segment, G80 gives the buyer a 10 to 20% savings versus similarly equipped luxury midsize sedans. The exterior is nice with a bold front end. The V8 goes for $65,000 Canadian, base starts at $54,000 Canadian. The Genesis buying experience is refreshingly simple without the endless options of some of its rivals. The well-finished trunk is spacious with no fold seats, only a ski trap. Why? Rear seats are comfy and roomy, obviously. Very good, but nothing special so far. In the front, G80 is very strong. There is a nice attention to detail to make the driving experience feel like luxurious quality and easy to use simplicity. The center console has buttons, remember those? The screen is easy to consult and the general interface is easy enough. The seats are covered in soft touch quality perforated leather that are both heated and cooled. Cooled seats are awesome and these seats are also comfortable. Switches, door pulls and surfaces feel like money. This interior color scheme is a classic and the beige leather is ace. The panoramic and micro suede roof is a nice touch. Impressive sound ending on the highway complete the luxury experience when listening to the 900 watt sound system. Adaptive suspension is the surprise, well calibrated, feeling comfortable yet not sloppy, money was put into that. This car is heavier than you might think and the material sciences employed in G80 does not produce the lightweight results of Z Germans. For example, the more expensive 5 series lost 100 kilos this year. The V8 makes 420 horsepower and 383 pounds of torque. The fuel economy is an eye-watering 17.3 liters in the city and 10.5 on the highway on premium gas. Ouch. When I asked Ross which car he would lease between G80 and its non-German rivals, he immediately answered G80. An incredible achievement for the young Genesis brand. Here are my random first impressions on the road. Hello car lovers, driving the Hyundai Genesis G80. Um, Ross loves this car. He thinks it's a tremendous value and Ross is a value bitch. That's just the way he is. And I'm not far away from him, to tell you the truth. What about this car? How good is it? It's very good. Uh, the exterior is very classy. Kind of looks like the boss from certain angles. The interior, I have nothing to say about this interior. This is a very nice tanned slash wood slash dark dash. It's a classic arrangement. I like these buttons here. Very easy to access. The panoramic roof is wonderful. I love Genesis pricing scheme. They come, it's one or two models and it's all equipped, period. There's, I believe in the six cylinder trim, there's a base model, but apart from that, they come all equipped, these cars. What about other things? Well, the drive. The drive is, it's not as boat as you might think it is. That's number one. Number two, it, it, feels, it feels actually pretty good. Um, uh, I think it's just a, the perfect sweet spot between comfort and sportiness. Sportiness is maybe not the right word, firmness. And a good suspension is always a sign of a good car. Because that's the thing that's less evident on the spec sheet. When you're presenting it in the showroom, you can't see the suspension. I drove it on the highway, very quiet in here. Uh, this engine is obviously a monster. V6s, uh, V8s are always... Naturally aspirated V8s are just awesome. They just drink a lot of gas. This car weighs a lot too, showing that the money did not go into weight savings. It's got a lot of competitors. The new BMW 5 Series, I think, is really good looking, uh, but costs a lot more. Uh, the Mercedes E-Class, same thing. Very nice car, very comfort oriented, costs a lot more. And there's something I think and I, I, I remarked it in the G90 that I drove last week, and I'm remarking it again. Just this simple Genesis arrangement of the ergonomics. The buttons are so practical here. The shifter falls well into hand. It, it, 
it's it's not this science experiment that some of these intermediate luxury brands feel like. This car just drives right. The tasks of driving, opening and closing the doors, the quality of the materials, the friction and play of the different dials and buttons, that is really well done. The soft touch dash feels very quality. The stitching here on top is real. Here too, the stitching is real. All these little different driver interfaces, these textures that you touch and feel all the time is top notch, feel quality. No rattles in this car either. It really feels well put together. I can't find anything, like I can't say there's anything wrong with this vehicle. Like I'm trying to find the flaws and I'm not finding it. The heads up display is convenient. The dash here is just right. It just has the right amount of information. I'm liking this vehicle. Um, once again, I'm I'm not I'm just not ready to say it's better than its German rivals. I, I, I'm looking at Ross because Ross really likes this car, and I, I, I I'm not ready to say that. But it is less expensive. It's uh wow the uh well the Germans are on notice with this car, huh? The, I mean the Koreans when they get behind something, it's it's for real. It's it's not a joke there. Now they have some someone else to think about those Germans, and uh, it's very, imagine like and that's another thing with. With with the with with Genesis, it's like we've seen with the Koreans. Every generation, they go up a generation and a half in terms of quality, in terms of reliability, in terms of everything. What's this next car going to look like? I wonder. And uh, those are my random thoughts on the Genesis G80.